Coach will start us off with a quick opening statement, and then uh, please raise your hands for questions. Please speak up. You know, there's uh, there's definitely uh, defensively a lot of carryover um, from last fall. Uh, we have lots of guys that are back, so you could obviously see a comfort zone there. I, I thought our offense done a really good job today. It's probably the first time all year that we finish practice early. Uh, the offense sets the tempo for the practice, so uh, I thought that was really positive. You know, we have a few guys that aren't participating in spring. Darren Kirkland is getting some work done on his knee uh, just from a rehab standpoint. Eric Gray uh, had shoulder surgery. Um, Tyus Fields had a, had a little procedure done back during Christmas. Uh, he could possibly be back. Chris Aparicki is going to miss the first couple of days of spring practice. Um, you know, and Karat Garland, he'll he'll be back out there soon. So we got a few guys out, but not nearly as many as we had last year. Thought the tempo was good today. Obviously, like the first day of practice, we we've got a we've got new guys out there. We got to teach them how to practice. We got to stay off the ground. Um, you know, I thought the ball obviously for the first day is probably on the it's on the ground too many times. Just simple quarterback center exchanges. Um, you know, we need to be able to fix that. Offensively, it starts with a snap. Uh, if you can't do that, it's hard to have success. Uh, but I thought for the first day, there was some it, some juice out there, and our guys competed pretty good and um, excited excited about that. I think there's some guys that had changed positions uh, that have done a nice job in the off season, uh, learning a new position. So. Um, we'll watch the film. We got a bunch of high school coaches in here. Uh, we're excited about that for our, for our coaches clinic. It's an opportunity for us to spend time with people that um, that came to our clinic. Uh, it's a big deal for us. So uh, we'll we'll work on uh, our corrections tomorrow, and and we'll go back at it on Saturday. So hopefully we'll improve. How would I compare which experience? Last spring, to the what you saw today. Well, I've already, you know, I, I can't remember what I ate last week for breakfast, so I sure can't remember last spring's first day of practice. We practiced. Well, just the entire experience of last spring. Three hundred times since then, so we were better today than we were last year because most everybody on the team has been through the system one time, uh, as opposed to last year. Nobody knew the system, so now there's probably 10 guys that are here for the first time, and at least uh, the other guys have an idea of what they're supposed to do. Last year, nobody knew what to do, so it obviously should be better. Last I know that, you know, it's not like y'all are kind of reinventing the wheel offensively. You know, you're probably doing some of the same stuff you did last year, but with the new coordinator out there, a couple new position coaches, were you surprised that things were pretty smooth, relatively speaking, today? No, I think from an experience standpoint, uh, you know, with, with Jim coming in here, I think he's done a really nice job with our staff. He's very efficient with his time. Uh, he's a very good teacher. I've sent in lots of meetings. Um, simple to understand. Uh, there, there is a lot of similarities. Um, we've, we've kept a lot of things from a conceptual standpoint that are probably very similar. So, um, you know, I think our guys have done a really good job working hard to figure out what, you know, they're supposed to do. You know, it's, the guys come here for two reasons, to get a degree and to play football. So uh, some of it's on them to learn what to do on their own. Uh, and I think our guys for the first day have done a really good job. Now, you know, you install the first day probably for two weeks. Now you're fixing to start the second practice and you install one time and here we go, you know. So uh, are we willing to spend that much time and be able to balance our, everything that goes in with that uh, and kind of retain the same knowledge as the first practice? I don't know. We'll see. Jared, how is he kind of how did he kind of respond in the off season to the year he had last year, the way it ended, and just what do you want to see from him specifically? Well, I think our whole team we're we're 
you know, we, we had our shots last year. That's over with, okay? There ain't nothing we can do about it, okay? So I'm not going to talk about it anymore, okay? We're worried about next year. Um, that's the only thing that we have control over, and I think everybody on our football team uh, has a plan to improve as a player this spring uh, as a unit, and I think our guys are, are going to start working hard to do that. We've, we've done a good job so far. We had a good first day of practice. We'll see where it goes tomorrow. Crouch, guy that can play multiple spots. Why did you decide to start him off at inside linebacker? Um, inside linebacker, there's, first of all, we have a little bit lack of depth there. You know, Darren Kirkland's not going through the spring. Uh, J.J. Peterson's a little banged up. He should be back probably next week. So we have a depth issue there. Um, it's probably from a standpoint of having a better understanding of the entirety of the defense. It's easier to learn it from inside out um, instead of outside in. So, um, you know, I think he's a guy that can play all four positions. So we started him there. Brent Austin. Coach, uh, you were asked, I think, at the recruiting deal about Eric Gray's position. You said you weren't sure, or you guys were not, you were not committed publicly over where he was going to play. What do you like about him? What do you want to see out of him after running back? And is that home for him all spring, or are you going to kind of bounce him around and look at, at his, Jeremy Banks, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, Jeremy's going to start off at running back. And, you know, if you look at our running backs with, with Ty and Tim, Carlin, um, even Eric Gray, uh, they're all probably in the – between the 195 and, and uh, maybe 205 range. Uh, we need a big back. That's why we move uh, – Princeton Fant there. Um, we're going to keep Jeremy on uh, offense and see. We've got to have, you know, a 225-pound-plus back in there, at least one guy. So um, we're going to keep them both over there and see how they work for the first um, probably six to eight days. Let uh, Coach Chaney and David get a good look at them um, and then kind of make a decision from there. They both can play multiple positions, and they're learning our offense conceptually. So um, but I think they're both doing a good job as far as off-season conditioning. I don't know about today's practice. Austin and Jesse. Coach, halfway through spring last year, you moved to Lante from receiver to DB. How have you seen him grow and now almost a year playing the position? And where's he gotten better? Well, I think for one, he wants to be a DB now. When we moved him last spring, he probably didn't. Uh, so when you want to do something, you put more time into it. Um, and I think that he's probably done that. He's, he's put a lot of time, in, I think, in the off season. I think uh, with Coach Ansley, um, you know, those guys are, are – I see those guys watching tape a lot. So um, I think that – there'll be improvement just from being comfortable with the position. You know, he never played corner. He's never – he played defensive back, but he really went back there, stood, and played safety in high school, right? He didn't get up there and play the different techniques that you have to play at corner in this league. So, he, him along with the rest of the guys, they all should improve. You know, they've got a year under their belt. Jesse, one last thing. Jeremy, how much will uh, Randy Kennedy get to participate? Still obviously coming off six, seven months of the ACL surgery. Yeah, Brandon would be clear to go if we were playing right now. Uh, but there's no need to rush him back. He's going to do some things uh, this spring, and it'll be day by day. But if we were playing a game right now, he could play. Yeah, I guess to follow up with that off of the offensive line, Nathan Niehaus, Tatum, those guys have seemingly gained a lot of weight. You know, what, what, what do you kind of make of their offseason and then kind of the progress heading into the pivotal spring? Well, I think with the off season, it takes everybody, everybody in our program. I think it starts with our weight room staff, with uh, Coach Fitz and all his guys. They've done a really nice job um, training. Um, our nutrition staff has done a really good job. Rachel and everybody associated with her. Um, people in Smokies, uh, you know, that where our guys eat every day, uh, with working with Rachel and her crew and, and just getting uh, – the guys on a good diet. I think the guys have have uh, done a nice job of getting some rest. Uh, I think it takes a little bit of that too. 
Um, so like Nathan Niehaus, I think has gained 40 pounds in a year. Um, Riley Lock Locklear's probably gained 25 or 30 pounds. Uh, Tatum has probably gained 25 or 30 pounds, somewhere in there. So, and they need it. And some of these guys could gain 25 more. So, uh, but I think it will help them. It's, it's you know, O-line is a developmental position. So, um, you know, when you, when you sign a scholarship to play offensive line in the SEC and you weigh 260 pounds, it's probably going to take you three years before you're, effect, before you're big enough to actually play. So um, a lot of these guys are in their third year so, uh, or maybe starting their fourth year. So um, they're big enough now to be effective, I think. Obviously, it's a you know spring's critical for everybody, but for those D linemen, I mean, it's no secret that three of those seniors are gone from that spot, and some of those guys need to emerge. What do you need to see out of those guys this spring, and what have you thought about their offseason so far? Well, there's not many guys that have played a lot of ball. Uh, I think as a group, the guys have worked hard in the offseason, um, but. Until you learn how to go out there and strain uh, and do it over and over and over again, uh, not make mental errors, learn, just learn how to play, how to practice, how to do it the right way. We have very few guys that have done much of that. You know, Emmett Gooden played uh, more than the rest of them. Um, you know, John Mincy was getting an opportunity to, you know, to play some, and he got injured last year. Uh, Karat Garland played four games. Kingston Harris played in two. Um, or actually, Kingston played in four also. So they they played um, enough snaps to be red-shirted. So I think that was good for them, good experience. But we've got a long ways to go there. Last couple, David. Uh, Andrea, how would you describe what you've seen from the early enrolling freshmen so far just on campus and, and being around it? Yeah, I think uh, I think these guys have done a really nice job in the classroom. Um, I, you know, lots of times when you go to college, um, everybody kind of gets overwhelmed for the first time. There's so much thrown at them. I hadn't seen that with these guys. I think these guys uh, come from really good football programs uh, and in good schools and. I think they've been prepared academically, uh, athletically, uh, programs that have worked really hard, that have had a lot of success. So, you know, they've kind of jumped right in and fit right in. They, they've not looked as much like freshmen, uh, which is a positive thing. So I think uh, obviously they're, they're mid-year guys, so they've got to be pretty strong academically as students um, today. Just kind of watching and I saw more of the defensive guys um, but you know I thought the guys had a good understanding of what we were trying to do for the first day so uh, it's really positive. Last question Steve. When you were looking for an offensive coordinator your matchups with Jim Cheney in the past and when you were just researching what was it about him that appealed to you the most and specifically what did you like about what he's done with the quarterbacks in the past? Well He's done it a bunch of different ways, uh, for one. Had success doing it. Had lots of experience in this league, which I think is important. Uh, unless you've coached in this league against some of these guys that you're going to go against, it takes a little while to get used to what they do on defense. Um, you know, he's done it throwing it a bunch of times in a game. He's done it with balance. He's done it uh, kind of being run-oriented. So. Uh, he figures out who his best players are and finds a way to get them the ball. So I uh, think he's a very good evaluator. You know, and coaching against him is very hard to defend. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.